ஓம் சாந்தி ஃபோர்த் செப்டம்பர் டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீன் வெனஸ்டே எசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் டுடே சாக்கார் முர்லி ஸ்வீட் சில்ட்ரன் யூ ஆர் த லிவிங் ஸ்டார்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி அர்த் யூ ஹாவ் டு கிவ் லைட் டு தி ஹோல் வேர்ல்ட் ஸ்வீட் சில்ட்ரன் யூ ஆர் தி லிவிங் ஸ்டார்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி அர்த் you have to give light to the whole world so what i'm saying i'm rather comparing the brahmin children to the star a good star i have to draw so baba is comparing us to the star and we are the stars who are living or rather we are not the stars of the sky but the stars of the earth and there is one complete murli on this where baba compared once upon a time the stars who are in the sky and the stars who are on the earth the stars of the earth are living the stars of the sky are not living the stars of the earth they are visible in the daytime also the stars of the sky they are not visible during the daytime so we are the stars of the earth we are the stars and the function of the star is to give light so we are the living stars and you have to give light to the whole world and stars usually come at night and now is the night and now is the stark night that's going on the night of kali yuga so when we think of star few things come in our mind the first thing is about star is that they shine stars shine so we have also to shine and what is the reason for our shining our shine comes because of the purity which is within us so it is the power of the purity that shines the purer the soul the more it shines the lighter the soul the more it gives light so our power is the power of purity the purer we become the more we shine the level of the purity the more the level of purity the more would be the radiance the more the level of the chart or yoga the more would be the purity so behind the shine there is a power of purity and there is a power of yoga so baba wants us to shine like a star so just as stars shine you have to shine and for shining then you have to increase your power of purity increase your power of yoga increase your power of gyan and not just the theoretical gyan but the gyan which has got practical implication the gyan which has become pragmatic pragmatic means practical the gyan should be pragmatic rather than didactic in psychology they use such words didactic knowledge didactic means it is just to teach that's it it has got no inner nuances it has got no inner relevance it's only for the sake of teaching but our gyan should not remain just didactic but it should turn into pragmatic it should have practical approach so whatever we learn whatever we do whatever we have in our mind whatever we 
inculcate that knowledge should go so deep within us that one day that should become practical that should be visible in practice so our shine is the shine of purity our shine is the shine of yoga our shine is the shine of knowledge our shine is the shine of embodiment of everything of all the virtues when we become the embodiment of virtues then we start shining when we fill the soul with all powers then the soul will sh- start shining so the task is to fill the soul with spiritual powers then the soul will start shining our shine is the shine of vairagya disinterest the more the disinterest the more we shine the more the detachment from the world the more we shine so this shine is the shine of vairagya the this shine is the shine of renunciation the shine is the shine of tapasya the more the penance the more would be the shine so we are the living stars and we have to shine with yoga with purity with gyan in today's murli baba has compared gyan to gyan to milk so stars shine so we have to shine second thing about star is that they stay far away they are far off they do not come and mix but they stay detached so far means they stay detached only when you stay away then you can shine you are in the world but not in the world you are with people but not with them you are in the crowd but out of the crowd the boat is in the ocean but the water is not in the boat so that in a level of detachment is something that we learn from stars they stay far away then they are very beautiful stars are beautiful so we are also the beautiful stars of this earth and our beauty again is the beauty of the spirit is the beauty of purity and purity itself is beauty and the real beauty is in fact purity so we shine with the shine of purity and we are the most beautiful beautiful creatures then stars they remain sakshi detached observer they are far away detached and they remain detached they do not interfere in the similar manner baba has sent said multiple times that you watch this drama as a detached observer even though you are karma yogi even though you are working all the time even though you are serving all the time even though you are involved even though you are the greatest actors of this drama and yet you are the audience and yet you are the ones who are sitting up as a mute spectator watching seeing and not interfering fearing in any of the scenes of drama so this part of being a detached observer we learn from stars so remain <coughs> as a detached observer and while working as an actor or actresses in this drama many times we enter the stage of oblivion we enter the stage of oblivion oblivion means forgetfulness we forget that we are also the observer we are also the spectator and this should be a constant practice to see everything as a detached observer 
and how do we practice as a detached observer? Hmm? How to practice being a detached observer? Because the moment we forget that, we are also spectator, we are only the actor. If we start getting attached to the scenes, to people, to the co-actors, to, to the role which has been given to us, role consciousness. One is body consciousness, another is role consciousness. I am the in charge, I am the inge engineer, I am the lawyer, I am the doctor, I am the nurse, or whatever is the role. There is something which is known as RC, role consciousness. Though we are away most of the time from body consciousness, but there might be role consciousness. So even in order to get rid of this role consciousness, you need to get detached from your own role, whatever it is, because we are the spectator. So what should we do in order to practice Sakshi or being a Sakshi, being a detached observer? Try to see this world as a stage, Baba has said multiple times, and where this drama is getting enacted, where there are multiple actors and actresses. So try to see this is as a screen where this movie is going on. Try to see this as a playground where there is a play which is going on. There is a play which is going on. <laughs> Try to see everything <coughs> just as this is the road and the person is standing here. So vehicles are coming and vehicles are going. People are coming and people are going. But this person doesn't intervene. So just as this analogy is there, that we I am, I am also standing and this is the road and scenes are coming and scenes are going and people are coming and people are going. This is one of the practices one can do. Other is tree. Birds are coming and birds are going. Some birds are coming, staying for some time and they are running away. They are flitting away. So birds are coming, flocking together, staying for some time and then flying off. So look detached manner, how things are there. As if a train with other compartment where we were sitting, somebody came and sat with us for some time. Part over, left, his station has come. Our station is here. Not, Don't think that everybody's station is here with you. So they might get down at different stations of life because everybody's destination is different. So watch everything as a detached observer, as if sitting in the train, as if standing at the roadside, as if an audience the auditorium, in the movie, and the movie is going on in the screen, as if the audience on the playground, uh, on the, uh, in the, some stadium, where you are sitting in the, amongst audience, and you see the play which is going on, on the ground, and yet as a detached observer. So stars are those who are detached observer. Stars are those, those who stay detached. Stars are those who are beautiful. Stars are those who shine. And stars are those who are far away. They remain away. If this is the earth, they are here. This is the earth, they remain away. So to remain away from this earth, from earth consciousness, from body consciousness,
from soil consciousness from role consciousness is the goal to remain in our original stage what we are rather than getting mixed with this because there is a sorrow here to remain away from gender consciousness i am male i am female baba wants us even to go beyond all this gender consciousness so all this consciousness they bring us down the goal is to elevate the consciousness to higher platform there is a world of body and there is a world of spirit which world we leave the world of body thinking of body all the time thinking of the intelligence of the body thinking of the hunger of the body the thirst of the body the different things which are associated with the body or we are thinking of something higher so we are not the dead stars but we are the living stars those are the dead ones we are the living stars chaitanya so baba wants us and one other thing is they shine and here baba is saying you have to give light to the whole world which light baba says we have to give light to the whole world which light the greatest light is the light of knowledge the greatest light is the light of knowledge and knowledge has been compared to light because the world is in stark ignorance the world is drowned in darkness to we have to send light to the world for the world is in darkness and in darkness there is a fear and in darkness you cannot see things in darkness the visibility decreases in darkness you lose the way in darkness you meet with accidents you darkness you do not know on on which person or what thing you hit upon so there is a darkness in the world and we have to spread the light and which light the light of knowledge which light the light of purity but the world is drowned in the vicious ocean of impurity everywhere there is impurity there is not a single mind which is pure because from where the purity will come unless and until the ocean of purity descends on the earth there cannot be any hope of purity in the world okay there are religious people who are somewhat pure but then that's not complete purity the knowledge of 100% purity cannot be taught by any other person of this planet earth it's only when the ocean of purity descends on the earth he teaches purity so we have to spread the light of purity across the globe what else which light the so light of knowledge light of purity light of yoga yoga is also light yoga is also light and yoga is remembrance yoga is the pilgrimage of remembrance yoga is the loving connection with god because the souls are lost and they are away from god so bring them back to god let them have yoga so the light of yoga what else light of might light of all powers so they are imbecile weak infirm souls are powerless even if they understand this is good but they have no power to follow it in yesterday sakar murli baba said your yoga is less your knowledge is less your dharna is also less that's why you cannot make others dharna the image of dharna so the light of all powers what else virtues there is the souls have become black baba has come to make us fair and the fairness will come by virtues 
what else the light of balance penance tapasya the light of penance without penance soul cannot become come out of darkness so there is a darkness of indulgence bhog in the world so bring them out from this darkness of indulgence to the radiance to the luminosity to the luminous light of tapasya what else vairag disinterest light of disinterest people fear such words if you put into their ears such words at vairagya they run away if there is some householder who is living with his wife with his children with his family go and say loudly vairag he runs away because he fears such words because they are so attached to their family they cannot imagine what if my wife dies what if my husband dies what if my son dies there is a constant perennial fear constant fear what if if my house goes away so they are attached so much so they they don't like such words they think of you as your enemy if you utter words like vairagya so vairag also is light and dispassion disinterest is also light and without that you cannot get free in this world there is one thing fear everywhere roge bhoga bhayam bhoge roga bhayam if you indulge in bhog there is a fear of rog everything of this world is filled with fear and which is the thing which makes us fearless there is only one thing which makes you fearless everything in this world is filled with fear vairagya makes you fearless the spirit of vairagya that nothing is mine and i don't want anything from anybody i have no expectations i do not want anything from anybody when such a spirit arises within then you become fearless otherwise everything everything in the world is fraught with fear rupe jaraya bhayam if somebody is beautiful he has a fear of old age bhoge rog bhayam if there is a bhog indulgence there is a fear of rog vritt nupal nupal vritt vritt nupalat bhayam if you have money you have a fear of income tax officers sarva vastu bhayan vitah in this world everything is filled with fear vairagya mrna brina neva bhayam vairagya is the only thing which is makes you feel so spread the light of vairagya in the world so light of vairagya light of power light of virtues light of knowledge light of purity light of tapasya light of light of blessings okay so today's essence sweet children you are the living stars of the earth of the earth those are the stars of the sky they are dead stars stars of the sky you are the living stars of the earth they come out at night you come out at day you you are you are there all the time 24/7 all the time you have to give light to the whole world give light to the whole world means give message to the whole world what message from yesterday's murli Let's go to Abu. If you want to see God, let's go to Abu. If you want to see Adi Dev, let's go to Abu. If you want to see Dilwada, living Dilwada, let's go to Abu. If you want to see the model of heaven, let's go to Abu. If you want to see heaven on earth, let's go to Abu. If you want to see memorial of God, let's go to Abu. If you want to see, if you want passport to heaven, let's go to Abu. But first, contact accommodation department. Otherwise, don't come. otherwise you will have problem <laughs> first confirm then only come 
ஓம் சாந்தி